Good morning. Good morning. Thank you all for coming. My name is Joanne Knutsny. I'm the library trustee chair of the Goodwin Memorial Library. It's been a long journey for the Goodwin <laughs> Library to get to this moment and is shared with so many of you here today. Five years ago, the trustees and library director decided to apply for a feasibility grant. This grant, given by the Mass Board of Library Commissioners and matched by the town, allowed us to determine what was the best course of action for the library. Working closely with the Municipal Building Committee after analyzing many options, we decided to ask the town for permission to apply for a grant to build on this location. We applied expecting to be considered but never expecting to be a top tier funded library. Announcement day came and we were shocked to find out that we were approved for $3.9 million in the first round. Here to speak from the Mass Board of Library Commissioners is Jan Resnick. Thank you, Jan. Every time I get to do one of these, I start with my 50 page notes. <laughs> You'll be happy to know I can way down. But libraries are like a flock of hot air balloons that rise in the morning sky. They are filled with beauty and promise and they take us to places we never dreamed possible. On this occasion of the groundbreaking for your new library, I bring congratulations and best wishes from the Massachusetts Board of Library Commissioners. The Board of Library Commissioners was established in 1890 and is governed by nine commissioners appointed by the governor. And two of us are here. <laughs> the MBLC is the agency of state government with the statutory authority and responsibility to organize, develop, coordinate, and improve library services throughout the Commonwealth. With a staff of skilled professionals and staff people, we administer several programs to benefit the Commonwealth's libraries. One of those programs funds public library construction, and within its guidelines, we are able to provide a grant for the construction of this new building. Key people to help you are our library building specialists, Lauren Serra and Andrea Bunker. Where are you? There's Andrea. Where did Lauren? There is Lauren. Key people to know, treasure, keep it close to you. Um, author Neil Gaiman frequently speaks in support of libraries on why our future depends upon libraries, reading, and daydreaming. His emphasis is on the importance of reading and imagining in order to make the world a better place. Gaiman encourages us to share the joy of reading with our children. We need our children to get onto the reading ladder. Anything they enjoy reading will move them up rung by rung to literacy. We can encourage them, them by providing a great selection of books, authors, and viewpoints, by giving them a beautiful place to read, and by building a community space in which to enjoy books, music, visual arts, and meet with others who share the same passion. You are beginning the process of giving your children and your community an incredible place to learn to love to read, to think, and to discover new ideas. Hadley is very fortunate to have such hardworking, devoted staff, trustees, friends, and library supporters. Building your new library is a lot of hard work but it is a joyous process to see a community dreams become reality. This new building and community center accessible to all will be a catalyst encouraging other community development and endeavors. Savor every minute, even the crazy ones. On behalf of the more Massachusetts Board of Library Commissioners, the MBL staff, especially Andrea and Warren, and the library community, I bring you congratulations on this step of your library adventures. We wish you joy. Gina. Teaming with the MBLC grant, we moved ahead to start a capital campaign for the future of our library. Right now, we have raised more than $200,000 and continue to raise funds each and every day. Janice Jorgensen, library patron and supporter, will talk to us for a moment about why she has supported our effort. Here are my notes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. 
thank you very much. I'm delighted to be here, uh, both as a library patron uh, and also as a donor. Three, two, four. What does that mean to any of you? It was my first library card number. <laughs> In 1952, my mother took us to the library with my brother and sister, and we began to learn the wonder of a library. I thought I could learn anything in a library, and I believe that's still true. The difference is it's not Google. I can go in and ask somebody something. It's not that I have to wait and see what comes up as the answer. Uh, libraries have been fabulous to me throughout my life. I uh, have often worked for FEMA, and when I travel, I go to the local library. I find out what disaster survivors are learning about what's available, and I go and borrow books. So I am delighted to have been a patron here, and then to decide I need to invest here in this library. You need to invest here in this library, not to make it what you want, but to make it what is needed for the future for the community. And I heard lots of people at the various community meetings say really bizarre things about libraries, all right? <laughs> I was appalled. They obviously didn't have the good parent I had who said, Janice, let's get started early and we will continue to keep you part of the local library community. I urge you, whether it's $1, $5, $500, 1000 donate. There is always a need at the library. Thank you. Thank you, Janice. Please note, in the last week alone, we've had four donors step forward to help pay for solar power for our new library. You too can join this effort. Speak to any trustee. Without the support of the town and the select board, we would not be at this moment. Representing our town is Christian Stanley, select board chair. Thank you. Um, just want to welcome you all uh, and say thank you for coming to the groundbreaking for the library. Uh, this groundbreaking not only commemorates the beginning of a new chapter for the Hadley Library, but also the town. Currently, the newest municipal buildings in town are the Hadley Elementary School and Public Safety Complex, which were built in the mid-90s. Now, after almost a quarter century, we are starting on three new building projects. Today's groundbreaking is the second groundbreaking ceremony we have celebrated this year. The Senior Center is quickly coming together to the east of us, right over there. Uh, the Hooker School, which was behind me, is now nothing but a memory. And on the north side of town, uh, construction of the new fire substation has begun, and we'll be having groundbreaking ceremony there a week from today. Come if you're available, 5.30. Uh, for the library, getting to this point was no easy task, and years of work have led up to this moment. The project is an amazing example of what grassroots citizen action can accomplish. There was no edict from above to construct a new library. This process began with a group of citizens, many of them here today, petitioning town meeting to get the ball rolling. It took more than one town meeting, as it's been noted, to get to the town to buy into this project. It also took a group of these citizens applying for and obtaining a grant from the MBLC, if I get that correct, to make this project happen. To me, this is a huge feat and a huge benefit to the taxpayers of Hadley in being able to afford this new facility. Of course, that was just the beginning of a rigorous design and approval process. Like any journey, it has its twists and turns, but with grit and faith, we stand here today celebrating what's been done and we see a promising future ahead. I cannot acknowledge and thank those who participated in this effort enough. The process to get here was led by a committee, and I would like to thank all of those that participated. I want to personally thank the current library trustees, Joanne Kanitsky, uh, Allison Danta Venman, saw her somewhere, <laughs> don't know where everybody is right now, uh, Maureen Devine, David Moskin, Megan Campbell, and Alan Weinberg. Um, Patrick Barrezo, our library director, thank you for sticking with this project your hard work and dedication. You're de demonstrating a remarkable commitment to our community, so thank you. 
Uh, there are so many more members of the library building committee, friends of the library, staff of the library, uh, that have dedicated their time as well as raising private funds to contribute to the completion of this project. And without naming everybody individually, I just want to thank you all so much for your work and time. Uh, I also wanted to thank the external team that have worked with us on the project, Mark Sullivan and Carl Ferguson at DA Sullivan, as well as the project design team led by Phil O'Brien. Um, and now in this phase of the project, Orlando Onulian Sons as our general contractor for the project. Thank you for being here and thank you for hosting us today. Please uh, keep up the good work. I hope we won't be confronted with any more twists and turns, but with this team, I'm confident that we can get through. I can't wait for us all to celebrate the grand opening of the library and other town building projects next year. Thank you. Thank you, Christian. We met our architect as we interviewed possible firms to work on the feasibility study. Our fearless building committee chair, Allison Donta Venman, carefully created rubrics and independent measures to assess each candidate as we hired our team. When we met Phil at Johnson Roberts, listened to his team's presentation, and spent time with Phil, we knew Johnson Roberts was the firm to lead us through the feasibility study. We felt that our partnership worked so well, and their bid was competitive enough, that we then hired Phil and Johnson Roberts to continue on as the project architect. Phil is here today to speak about the project and our shared vision for Hadley's new library. Thank you all. Um, I'd like to uh, take the opportunity to thank Joanne and the trustees, Allison and the building committee and the select board uh, for the opportunity to help uh, on a building like this. Uh, it's been a couple of years since we've been working with you, but uh, we're, I think we're new uh, to the team. Um, and I know that you all in the town have been looking forward to this project for a long time. Johnson Roberts uh, designs public libraries uh, because uh, we love them. Uh, there's lots of different building types that we could work on. We choose public libraries as, as, as our focus um, because of what they do for their community, uh, what they represent for the future, what they represent for our children. Uh, and they are that one public building that really does serve everybody in the community from the youngest to the oldest. And it is a real pleasure to work on a building like that. And it is also a real pleasure to work with the building committee um, that really loves their library as much as I love my library. Um, and so it's. That's a pleasure to do uh, when I come out here all the time. And um, working together to, to create a new vision, to build a brand new building that sits right next to a beautiful old building that's, that's, that's served the community for so long and sits in the center of a, of a great town like this is a real pleasure to me. And uh, I just want to say thanks for the opportunity. Thank you, Phil. Support from our government is critical to obtain funding and support for projects such as libraries. Kelly O'Reilly from Representative Carey's office has a few words from Rep. Carey this morning. Good morning. Thank you for inviting our office to such a wonderful event. I'd like to convey, convey re regrets from Representative Carey and Senator Comerford uh, that they could not be here in person. But I want to share their warm wishes on this occasion of the groundbreaking for the new Hadley Library. It is a joy to join you in this celebrating this momentous occasion for the town of Hadley. Libraries play a vital role in our communities. They are gathering places, educational and cultural resources. They serve as introductions to literacy. They open doors to lifelong learning, provide access to technology, and are spaces accessible to the entire community. In this way, libraries are the engines of our democracy. Thank you to the library trustees and everyone who has worked tirelessly to bring us to this moment. Now I'm going to present a citation signed by both the legislators.
be it hereby known to all that the Massachusetts House of Representatives offers its sincerest congratulations to the town of Hadley in recognition of breaking ground for the new Hadley Library. The entire membership extends its very best wishes and expressions of the hope for a, good, for a future good fortune and continued success in all endeavors. Given this day, given the 16th day of October 2019 at the State House, Boston, Massachusetts, uh, it's signed by Robert DeLeo, the Speaker of the House, and Representative Dan Carey, and Senator Cumberford. Thank you, Elena. Uh, Ke Kelly, sorry, Elena was supposed to be here. <laughs> there are so many people to thank. Volunteers like the trustees, friends, feasibility committee, capital campaign committee, building committee, various boards and committees in town that help with this project. Professionals like our library staff, D.A. Sullivan, Johnson Roberts, and our builder, Anuli and Sons. All of this takes much coordination, patience, thoughtfulness, and leadership. I am personally grateful to work each day with the person most responsible for the day-to-day -day operation, the hub of this project, Patrick Barizo, our library director. Our closing remarks before the groundbreaking will be from Patrick. Good morning, everybody. Um, thanks for coming. This is a really great turnout. This is really an exciting moment. Um, before I start my remarks, I just wanted to take a moment to remember uh, my friend, everyone's friend, Dennis Meehan, who spent so much time, so much energy to help bring this, you know, bring this project to fruition. If it weren't for people like Dennis, this never would have happened. So I'd like to tell you a, uh, a fairly short story, but with a, a very happy ending. I think that's appropriate for a library. Um, when I began my managerial duties at the Goodwin back in the spring of 2014, the trustees of the library had only recently submitted the initial planning and design grant application to the MBLC. The grant, the process, and the prospect of new library were all very much at the far periphery of my thinking and my day-to-day -day concerns. When in the middle of 2014, Hadley was awarded the grant, it soon became clear to me that I would have one very important priority over and above all of the other new learning curves that I would need to master as a new library director. I took a few deep breaths, made sure that I wasn't actually hyperventilating, and made a decision. I decided that rather than become overwhelmed by the sheer number of things I did not know yet about this process, I would instead trust that the path to success is one of following a process a path that others elsewhere in our state have negotiated successfully before us. I would trust my instincts, speak honestly to the facts as I understood them, and work closely with those who had initiated this journey, namely the trustees of the library, to build consensus, to build trust, and finally to build a new library for the town of Hadley. The library project faced some considerable opposition and suffered setbacks as we always knew that it would. At many times I was told by well-meaning Hadley folk, with the scar tissue to back up their words, that what we were trying to do would never fly here. They don't want it, they won't pay for it, they'll never let it happen, but good luck. <laughs> Perhaps if I come to this process with something to prove, those predictions might have presented a challenge, a windmill to tilt at. But honestly, that didn't sound like the town I was beginning to get to know across our circulation desk, which is more of a table. <laughs> but for the sake of the story, <laughs> Uh, the Hadley I saw was not a stereotype of the old ways versus the new, but a fairly diverse, vibrant, and discerning community looking to emphasize what was already great about the town and its quality of life. What I found were people who uniformly wanted to make Hadley better than it already was. I crossed paths with the volunteers who make time to sit on the many important boards, committees, and community organizations that keep Hadley running. I spoke with Hadley's students about the library. I met parents who came in to get their young children that first library card and to borrow those first picture books. I got to know the many seniors who stopped in regularly for books after their morning activities at the Hadley Senior Center. I met young people and college students and recent graduates living in Hadley, working, making art, music, writing, figuring out life, 
And nearly every one of those people that I talked to week after week at some point would ask, so what's up with the new library? <laughs> and more importantly, what do we need to do to make this happen? Well, people got involved, held signs, talked with neighbors, engaged with town meeting, and people made this happen. Hadley made this moment real. I'd like to give a big thank you to the Mass Board of Library Commissioners who provided this opportunity to build a brand new library at 50% off. A special thank you to Andrea Bunker, Lauren Stara, Ro Waltos for all of the guidance they have provided over the past five years. They helped me to keep things in perspective. I'd like to take a few moments to thank some of those very real people of Hadley that I just mentioned. Uh, I'd like to thank all of those members of the town boards and committees that gave us a hearing throughout this process. All of the members of the Hadley Select Board, past and present, Hadley Finance Committee, Hadley School Committee, Municipal Building Committee, Capital Planning Committee, Hadley Planning Board, Hadley Historical Commission. The town departments that we worked so closely with, not to mention whooped at cornhole. <laughs> In the town administrator's office, David Nixon and Jennifer Sanders James, thank you for everything that you do for us. Uh, in the town treasurer's office, Linda Sanderson and Joan Zuzko have helped me to track down so many pieces of this puzzle. Uh, at the Department of Public Works, I'd like to thank Chris Okafer and Gary Berg for the help that they provide. Tim Nyhart and all the inspectors in inspection services. I'd like to thank our counterparts at the Council on Aging who are going through a very similar project and learning curve. Uh, where am I? At Hadley Media, Drew and John. Thank you, John, for doing what you do to keep residents informed. Uh, our fire department and its chief Mike Spanknable and also the Hadley Police and Chief Hadley Police and Chief Mason will keep, keep an eye on things and make sure that we have a safe, secure environment at the new library for all residents to enjoy. Uh, the finest library staff that I've ever had the pleasure to work with. They kept the library running smoothly for five years while I wrote this speech. <laughs> Susan Brown, Luna Greenwood, Karen Cole, Sierra D'Amato, Tallulah Padno, Xander Rushenko. Thank you very much. I'd like to thank the trustees, current and former, a more tenacious, dedicated group I couldn't imagine if I tried. Our trustees are currently comprised of Trustee Chair Joanne Konetsny, Allison Donta Venman, Alan Weinberg, Maureen Devine, David Moskin, and Megan Campbell. And a big shout out to Karen Purley. Woohoo! Yeah! Um, I'd like to thank all of the friends of the Goodman Library who volunteer, who organize, who donate, who support, and keep things happening at the library. All of our planning and design and building committee members, in particular, a very heartfelt thank you to our friend Dennis Meehan. Uh, his contributions to this project are immeasurable. Also, Phil O'Brien of Johnson Roberts Associates and Mark Sullivan of DA Sullivan, who we work very closely with on a daily basis. Uh, all of the donors who have contributed to the library project in large and small amounts. Donors like Janice Jorgensen and her partner Karen Rosenbaum are a huge part of the success story of the new library. And to all of the volunteers past and present of our capital campaign, as you know, our fundraising goes on and we still need to raise a considerable amount of money. Uh, if you'd like to find out how you can volunteer to fundraise for the new library, I'd love to talk to you about that. We're always looking for volunteers, and if you have the wherewithal to give financially, please do contact the library to find out how. Uh, I'd like to thank you so much for coming out today uh, and being a part of this. Thank you, everyone, for coming. Um, now we have a problem, as Phil pointed out, we have a little pile of dirt <laughs> and a lot of people responsible for getting us to this place. So, so with that, I know um, if you would help back there with the shovels, I would love to have come up for our symbolic groundbreaking. Um, um, Janice Jorgensen, representing our patrons. Jan Resnick from the MBLC. Christian Stanley, our select board chair. Phil O'Brien, our architect. Kelly O'Reilly from Representative Carey's office. Our builder, 
Adam Anuli, Anuli and Son. Our OPM, Mark Sullivan, DA Sullivan. And Patrick Brizo, our library director. Woo